for a long time I've been interested in the mechanism of sodium transport, and uh, I've suspected that hypothyroidism is uh, sometimes mis misunderstood and a, a diagnosis of cystic fibrosis is made. Uh, when I worked in the woods uh, the first summer, we had a, a cook who was a fanatic for uh, believing that if you worked hard and sweated a lot, you needed uh, salt replacement. So he would put, uh, I think it was something like a tablespoon of salt in everyone's breakfast and if you didn't eat your porridge that was horribly salty, uh, you didn't get the rest of your breakfast. And uh, within a few days, uh, I was tending to faint if I didn't take salt pills halfway through the day. And my skin was so salty that I got crystals of salt on my forehead, eyebrows, glasses, uh, my uh it was actually just um, crystallizing pure sodium chloride, and I for sure would have um, been considered to have uh, cystic fibrosis from the, the chloride uh, coming out of my skin. Uh, but it was simply an, an adaptation to uh, my particular kind of thyroid metabolism and an extremely high uh, salt intake. 